friends. I am so happy to be with you all again this week. Have you been having fun with your family? How are you doing in the area of trust? Have you been trusting that even though these times are so different, God knows what he's doing and we can trust him? Have you been working on kindness even when you're struggling with your loved ones? Is it helping? How about being mom and dad the first time? I hope you're finding the strength and the help that God has for each one of you. We saw such a great attitude in David last week, but you know what? Even though David was a man after God's own heart, he was still a man that had temptations like you and I have. Our story from God's word this week is about when David's faith failed. He forgot to trust in God and all God had done for him. And he started to listen to his own fears. Remember last week, King Saul asked for David's forgiveness. And he promised not to chase after David and his army anymore. Now, David had reason to doubt that King Saul was going to keep his promise. Because we have watched King Saul change his mind over and over David was so tired of running and hiding, sleeping in the woods and in caves. Even his wives and children and the children of the men were probably so tired of hiding too. David started to doubt that God was going to keep him safe. He forgot the many times that God had already delivered him from Saul. And he also forgot God's promise that he would one day be the king over all of Israel. So in a moment of doubt and forgetting God's power and promises, David made a foolish decision. He decided to run and escape with his band of men and their families to the land of the Philistines. Now, the Philistines were enemies of God's people. And in his unbelief, David failed to seek what God wanted him to do and what direction God wanted him to go. Sometimes, like David, we forget what God has done for us, and our faith grows weak. It is then when we are tempted to do foolish things. When our faith fails and we let fear come into our hearts, oh, that's exactly what happened to David, and he started to go his own way, not God's. As David and his now 600 men made their way into the enemy city of Gath, David was about to put his trust in a wicked king instead of God. King Achish had heard of David and what a mighty warrior he was. He was so thrilled to have David and his army working for him instead of for the Israelites. King Achish told David, I will give you and your men and all your families your very own city called Ziklag. Oh, how much more comfortable they were. Oh, no more hiding in the woods or dark, cold caves. But even though things were much more comfortable, David wasn't happy there. He had chosen his own way instead of God's way. And that made him feel upset. Going our own way never brings us true happiness. In exchange for a nice place to live and for his protection, the king of Kish ordered David and his men to steal from Israel, God's people. Oh no, what would David do? Well, one wrong choice led to another, and soon David was telling a lie to king of Kish, telling him that he and his men were stealing from God's people when really, they were stealing from the king's friends. Remember, boys and girls, just like David, we go our own way sometimes instead of following God. This is called sin. Sin is anything we think, say, or do that goes against God's rules. And when we choose sin, we're not trusting in God and choosing the things. Instead, we're choosing things that break his rules and break his heart. The punishment for sin is being separated from God. And David was separating himself more and more from God. Finally, the day came when King Akish 
was going to go to war against God's people of Israel. He believed that David and his army would fight with him. With a heavy heart, David and his men began marching. Can you guys march with me? He began marching toward Israel to fight. Oh, David was so upset. What would he do to get out of this mess that he had made for himself and his army? Only God could deliver him now. But would God deliver them? They had disobeyed God and in turned instead to God's own enemy, the Philistines, for protection. They marched for several days. When all of a sudden, some of the other Philistine princes realized who David and his men were. They told the king Achish, we aren't going to fight with that guy, David. He's an Israelite. Are you crazy, king? If you don't make him and his army go back to Ziklag, we won't fight with you. There was nothing King Achish could do. He told David, I believe you will fight with us, but these other princes, they don't believe it. You and your men must return to Ziklag. David was so relieved. God had delivered him again, even though he had not been faithful to God. They began their long journey back to Ziklag. And after three days, they realized something was very wrong. No one was running out to greet them. And something was burning. While David and his men had been away, some bad guys had come in taken their families away and burned their homes. The men all began to weep and they started to blame David and said, let's throw rocks at David and kill him. He got us into this mess and now we have lost everything that matters to us. David realized he was in great trouble. He had turned from God and gone his own way and now look what happened. The Bible says David encouraged himself in the Lord. David cried out to God, his only hope. He would ask God to forgive him for his lack of faith and not trusting him and for disobeying him. He asked for forgiveness for his sin. God began to encourage his heart as he began to trust in him again. Oh, he asked God, should my army and I go after those invaders who stole our families and burned our homes? God answered, yes. Go after them, and I will give you back your families. And God did exactly as he said. He gave David and his men back their families. And David learned it's such an important lesson. Following God was the only good way. God was even powerful enough to take a bad situation that David caused and turn it around for good. You and I sometimes fail in our faith, and we choose not to follow God as we should. Sometimes we let fear overtake us, and we forget the goodness of God. But just like in David's life, God will always forgive us as we turn to him. This week, if you fail to go God's way and choose sin, Run quickly back to your Savior and ask for his forgiveness and help. Maybe you're tired of just being home. Maybe you let your temper get the best of you. Maybe you're just mad and you talk meanly to your family. The Bible says many are the troubles of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. God wants to deliver you from your sin and to give you good things, including his joy and peace. Have a great week. Love you and see you next time.